Hey guys and happy video Monday, Tisha Mahar here. For this week's video I want to talk to you all about protein. And as everyone knows who's vegetarian out there, who's vegan, the number one question we all get asked, how do you get enough protein in your diet? At this point when someone asks me that I hardly react at all. I basically just smile and, and I say I manage. Um, so here's the thing about protein. You don't need to get the full chain of amino acids in every single bite of food. The key is just simply that these amino acids are showing up overall on a daily basis in your diet. So as long as you're eating a varied diet, you're eating all kinds of different vegetarian and vegan foods, you're going to get enough. Here is where you can get some great um, sources of protein in the vegetarian vegan diet by eating whole grains, like the super grains, like buckwheat and quinoa and amaranth. You can get protein from beans and legumes, especially when they're sprouted. Any food that's been sprouted, the digestibility, the assimilation of the protein in that food is going to be so much higher by at least 25%. So sprout whenever you can. So grains, sprouted legumes and beans. Um, uh, spirulina, hemp seeds, nuts and seeds, um, what else, tofu if you, and tempeh if you are okay with the soy thing, I, I would definitely go with organic and, and, you know, don't go crazy on it, but having, you know, a couple servings a week is cool. Um, Ezekiel bread is a um, processed product, but very, very gently so. It's a sprouted grain bread, and there's quite a bit of protein in there. Almond butter, uh, peanut butter, organic peanut butter. Um, what else? Uh, uh, protein powder. So if you get a really good vegan-based protein powder, I personally love um, like a pure hemp protein or even just a Sun Warrior uh, protein. That one's fantastic too. So there's tons of places where you can get um, protein in a vegetarian vegan diet. So as long as you're eating, you know, from all of those different categories of food that I just explained, you're going to be okay. If you try to go like vegan paleo, you might run into problems because you're really cutting out a lot of things like nuts and seeds and legumes and grains and those are pretty abundant sources of protein in the in the vegan diet. Um, but again, as long as you're not going super extreme, like if you're doing 80-10-10, I, you know, I, I know every time I mention this I'm opening myself up to being perhaps bombarded, but you know, I think you might run into problems again. You want to try to avoid going to extremes. Vegetarian, vegan might be um, an extreme itself to some people. I don't really look at it that way. As long as you're eating a varied vegan diet, I don't think it's that extreme. Um, so also, with regards to protein, a lot of you are likely wondering, how much do I need? So for my body, how many grams do I need? And I personally believe that we don't need as much as, for example, the um, food pyramid might tell us or the um, government might tell us. So I'm just going to give you my take on this and um, what I often recommend to clients and, and then you can decide as you will with it. Now likely, or, or obviously if you're super, super active, if you're like an athlete, you your needs for protein are going to go up. This is just for the general day-to-day, -day, you know, moderately active individual. So what I often suggest is that you multiply your weight in kilograms by 0 0.8. So just to give you an example, I am um, 48 kilograms, which is 105 pounds. And so I aim for roughly 40 grams 38, it works out to 38, 40 grams of protein per day. Um, and that's not hard to, to hit. I can easily reach that amount and I find that's the amount that really makes me feel well. If I go low, lower than that, like if I'm doing juice fasting for or, or something like that, I start to feel that like weakness in my body and I know that, that that's, you know, probably, well, it can be so many things when you're detoxing, but um, protein at about 38 grams for me helps me 
feel strong. Um, so figure that, this out for yourself and, and see what you think. But that's generally what I suggest. So you take, um, if you take your weight in pounds, if you don't know kilograms, take your weight in pounds and divide that number by 2.2. That's going to give you your weight in kilograms. And then you multiply your weight in kilograms by 0 0.8. And I wanted to mention this because there was somebody specifically recently who mentioned, um, who messaged me on Facebook asking me this and I lost that message somehow. So I hope you are um, seeing this video, love. I, I can't remember exactly who it was that reached out, but this is what I would recommend that you do to figure out the uh, appropriate amount of protein for you. Okay guys, so I hope this has been helpful as always. Yes, protein is needed in the diet. It's an essential nutrient. We may not need as much as we think and the vegetarian vegan diet is full of um, options. So we don't have to become deficient by being vegetarian and there are lots of ways to get it. As long as you're again eating a varied diet, you'll get all of those amino acids and um, yeah, careful with this stuff. It's very easy to overthink it and become really stressed about what you might missing, uh, might be missing. And, and stress itself will cause nutrient depletion. So trust that you've got it covered. Take your weight. Figure out approximately how much you need. And then, you know, just kind of clock it throughout the day when you're eating your meals and make sure you're, you're choosing from a variety of sources. Send me a message, as always, if you have a question to info at tishamahar.com or through my Facebook page, Tisha Mahar at the Home of Living Live. Love you guys. Have an awesome, awesome Monday and week. We'll see you soon. Bye.